is basic. The marinade is basically Caesar's without the without the Parmesan because if you add cheese to this, it's gonna it's gonna burn. Now, uh, next show, I'm gonna show you how to do a Caesar's, a proper Caesar's dressing. But for now, this has been marinated for two days. Get uh, inexpensive steak. Any steak will do. Any cut. Uh, marinate it. If it's really tough, marinate it for two days. If it's not, maybe one day will do fine. You don't need any oil because oil is already in the dressing. Okay. Put your pan on high and just wait till it heats up. If you want to check, you will do a little drop in the middle. When you see that drop sizzling, that means the pan is ready to cook. Okay, you need a nice meat fork for this, or you could just use your hand. I prefer the meat fork, it's less messy. Uh, when you place the meat, you now make sure it's uh, as dry as possible. You don't want it to, you know, jump in your face when you're cooking it. And then when you place it, place it away from you, like that, and don't move it, just leave it where it is, if you start moving it around, it's not going to be safe, it's going to be just sauteed meat, uh, the point is to get, caramelize the face of the meat, and the back side, so that the juice doesn't escape, this makes the meat really moist, You can fit all your meat at once, that's good, but you don't want to put too much because the more things in the pan, the less overall heat is there. Because the way it spreads the heat is uh, evenly, and each piece takes away a certain amount. One temperature, once it's hot, it's hot. You know, you could just play around with the heat. Okay, it's also useful to have one of these grease traps. Uh, you just place it over your pan just like this. And what happens is the, the, when the oil jumps, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't splash, keeps it clean. We're done with this. The first part, you want to keep it on high, you don't need the grease trap yet, just make sure you get a nice roast on the back side. Okay, we're back. Come here. At this point, touch the meat. If it doesn't give back so much, it's done. It took about 3-4 minutes. Turn it around. And you see I have a nice crust on the meat. Right here. And at this point, you should watch the meat, make sure it doesn't burn. Uh, looking good so far. Okay, there's three ways to check if the meat is done. One is to take your uh, meat fork and press it. You want it well done, it's not gonna give, it's not gonna push back at all. See how it's bouncing back? This is almost well done. This is like medium well right now. Which is how I like my steak. But just to be on the safe side, you want to make sure that it's well done. Another way is to take the fattest piece and poke it. Come here. You poke it, and you see if any blood comes out. No blood coming out. Now the third way is to take a food thermometer couple of dollars. The way to set it is you put it in a cup of ice until it's zero or you could set it, you could twist it until it's zero. So you take your meat thermometer and find the fattest piece and you stick it in. Now make sure it doesn't hit the pan because then you're going to get the food temperature of the pan and you want the food temperature of the meat. So. You, you see how 
what the degree of it is. Maybe a hundred and ten. Beef is generally cooked less than other meats because you know, it's going to get too raw, too tough. Not going to be you know, juicy. Some people like it raw. Some people like it well done. It depends on how you like it. At this point, I think the meat is done, and uh, it's very important to rest the meat. You have to make sure that uh, if you cut it, that all the juice is going to come out. Then you're just going to have a rubbery meat. Nobody wants to eat that. So turn off your pan. And uh, since this is our presentation side, which is the crust side, which we cooked on high, and what's cooking right now is the medium side, right here, which has no crust because the, uh, the liquid in the pan came out and made it impossible for it to caramelize. So just leave it like this for four or five minutes. Okay, the way to make meat is uh, leave it. The more you move it around, the less caramelized it will get. So just go lay on your couch, relax, take a nap. You know, just three, four minutes, the meat is not gonna go anywhere. Um, important part about cooking is to enjoy it. You don't wanna stand there and just stare at it. It's not gonna make it cook faster. So just, you know, take a nap. And forget about all your worries.